back to Casablanca. We have visited Alpha Place, a unique retail project by the Atlantic Shore. The project mix of shops, hotels, and luxury residences made this mall a popular destination among Moroccan and tourists. This mall was an opportunity for new brands to penetrate Morocco and offer their products and services to more than 5 million city residents. Alpha Place was the second mall to open in Casablanca. Tell us a little bit more about this unique retail project. Yeah, so Alpha Place opened back in 2013 in the heart of the city of Casablanca by the seashore, so it benefits from both. Very uh, well located in the city, with the great access to, uh, to, the, to the ocean. Um, so the visitor of Amfa Place can benefit from an indoor and outdoor area, um, with a direct catchment area that is really uh, dense, because Amfa Place is the first shopping mall that opens in a mixed-use project, with the residences, but also offices and uh, hospitality, with the first uh, Four Seasons of uh, Casablanca that opened uh, at the same time and the Hotel Pestana as well, uh, in the same location. Um, Alpha Place, um, when it opened, uh, came with a, a new offer in the city with the, uh, a lot of um, brands that uh, choose Alpha Place as their first home for their development in Morocco, uh, but also with uh, this uh, outdoor uh, area that is a real uh, component of the whole experience. So basically people, they come here for shopping and at the same time for entertainment, yeah? Exactly, so the experience at Amfa Place goes way beyond shopping. It's really a place for gathering, socializing, creating emotions, memories for families, for kids, for friends, you know? And this is really something that uh, our strategy, uh, when we took over the center as uh, the, 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 the manager, the asset manager of the center in 2015, this was really the, the axiom uh, on which our strategy was uh, put in place, if you want. And, uh, and uh, we, we um, advised the landlord that had just acquired the, the center at the time uh, to focus on this in terms of leasing, but also in terms of marketing and offer. Um, so I, I don't know if you know, but Enfa Place opened in 2013, but in 2018, 2019, uh, a big refurbishment of the center happened uh, with the rebeautification of the common areas, but also with some very heavy works where the customer journey was optimized with the single loop in the second floor, with the refurbishment and rebeautification of the food court. So there is a really a before and after of the food court of Alpha Place. Uh, in terms of experience and uh, look and feel, but also in terms of offer, where we try to bring a new way uh, of uh, uh, consuming a food court with some uh, healthy choices at the same time as the usual suspects that uh, we uh, generally find in food courts. And this make it the, the favorite food court of, uh, of Casablanca when you ask visitors. between the shore and Casablanca famous Corniche. The experience is excellent for both families and shoppers here at Enfa Place. This shopping mall includes a kids entertainment park, local and international retail brands from cosmetics to clothing, groceries and consumers electronics with a wide choice of indoor and outdoor food and beverages locations. So tell us, what's, what's coming next for AMS? What's the near future of AMS Capital in terms of retail? So, uh, yeah, uh, so AMS is, is a real estate asset manager. We work on uh, all kinds of asset classes, retail, but also residential offices, logistics, 
uh, even data centers uh, recently. Uh, but indeed, we are uh, now in the market recognized for retail as well because of our experience at Amphaplace, but also because we are uh, we have been the strategic advisor, uh, the leasing agent, and uh, the future uh, asset manager of the retail component of M Avenue. It is the mixed-use project, uh, the first of its kind in Morocco, but also in Marrakech, which is a great, great um, mixed-use project, including a retail avenue, but also uh, Four Seasons residential uh, branded uh, residence, uh, res high-end residences, a hotel uh, from Pestana with CR7, uh, a business school, a bank, uh, um, a clinic, an M art. So it's really the kind of project we see elsewhere that now has been built in Marrakesh uh, that we will uh, open early July together with the landlord. So we're working on the retail component of that project. Um, and we have been working with the landlord since 2014 when all this was an idea and we worked together to make it happen. Uh, we also uh, work with uh, Imken, uh, a UAE developer that is developing uh, a big mixed-use project in Rabat by the seashore. And this is also a, a first in Rabat. Uh, and we're working on the retail component uh, of, uh, of Le Carousel. Uh, no, the retail component called, is called Le Carousel and the, uh, the, the project as well. Um, we also work on a couple of projects that are still confidential with uh, institutionals here in, in Casablanca. Based on your assets management experience, what does it take to manage a shopping center like Enfa Place? Actually, it takes uh, a lot of uh, uh, experience around the table in terms of uh, team management. So uh, a shopping mall like, uh, like Enfa Place can be managed directly by the landlord or can be fully externalized to a specialist or can be done hand in hand uh, between the management team of the center and uh, an external um, strong advisor. So what happened for Anfa Place is that AMS has been first the manager of the center, the asset manager of the center, on, like on behalf and under a mandate granted to us by the landlord. And uh, this lasted five years. And after five years, um, the, the, the landlord decided to internalize part of the management, uh, more on the technical and operations uh, uh, part. And we kept all the leasing and strategic uh, and marketing um, mandates. Um, so today we are the exclusive uh, leasing agent of the center, um, as well as the marketing advisor and strategic advisor of the landlord for this center. And it takes actually, as I told you, um, a lot of resources and experience, uh, but also it uh, requires a lot of reactivity because Real estate in general is a long-term investment, but in retail we have to be able to move fast, uh, to adapt to our visitors' uh, requirements, to adapt to the new offers in terms of uh, retail, FNB, leisure, and be able to give space and grant space to every single new uh, kind of offers uh, that arrive on the market to be able to also uh, cope with this digital transition that is happening. Uh, we talk a lot about digital, so because we are a physical place, but we have to be able to go and bring our visitors from their homes to our centers. And this requires also a, a, a lot of um, strategy. And we rely also on a lot of uh, uh, digital expertise uh, from local agencies, but, but also international agencies mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, digital marketing, digital mar communication, um, in order to really be all the time uh, aligned with uh, our visitors' uh, expectations. So if I'm an international brand, for example, and I decide uh, to open a new shop, for example, in, mm -hmm. in, in Enfa Place, how your your company will help me to, uh, to do that? Actually, we've, uh, as I told you, Enfa Place has been uh, the home of a lot of uh, first comers to the country. Uh, behind us, Marks & Spencer is, uh, opened its first store in Casablanca within Anfa Place, we have Calzedonia and Intimissimi. So Calzedonia and Intimissimi were uh, two brands that were uh, um, really awaited for in, in, in Morocco. Uh, and we met them a couple of times uh, in Europe through our network, international end network, because we, uh, our main shareholders are in Europe and in the UAE. So we have access to a lot of international brands 
um, with whom we are always in, con in contact to um, convince them and to sell them the Morocco destination. And we managed to do so with, uh, with a couple of them and we're still working on it. Unfortunately, COVID has been a burden to a lot of discussions that were going on uh, to bring some brands, but we don't lose uh, hope to, to get them back now that things are getting better.